This installment of Minnesota Officiating Voices brings you Jen Myers, accomplished track and field athlete, exceptional coach and role model, and aspiring track and field official. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Jen Myers. I am a track and field official for the Minnesota State High School League. I grew up running track and field in a very small town in West Central Minnesota. My school was four towns put together to make up a track team. I also ran in college and I realized that I loved the sport and really wanted to be able to demonstrate my love for it in more ways than just competing. So after I finished graduate school and became an adult, I was lucky and fortunate enough to be able to start head coaching at Christo Ray Jesuit High School in Minneapolis. I was the head coach there for five years. They had a program that went from non-existent uh, without any facilities to really growing to be able to offer the students opportunities with coaching. So I loved that, but I was a little dismayed or a little disheartened to see that I didn't have any female officials representing in a capacity of umpires, officials, starters, um, any of those track and field jobs. So I thought to myself, you know, I definitely can be a advocate and demonstrate female leadership as a coach, but I can also do that as an official. So I took steps to become an official, did my online test, went to my clinic, did all my learning modules, and felt confident with my track and field rules and ready to be able to be out on the track and out on the field representing not only females, but also high quality officiating experiences so that the students could really experience great sportsmanship and great competition. What attracted me to officiating was a few individuals that I saw really loving the sport. So I got into some unofficial official officiating, if that's a word, uh, through the Minnesota Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. We would host the indoor and outdoor um, MIAC championships. And after I graduated from college, my coaches would reach out and say, hey, we're looking for some, some uh, student volunteers or some alum volunteers to come help at the long jump or the hurdle crew or um, serving as um, helping with the umpires or referees. So I was able to get my foot in the door that way with some not formal, but you know, pretty big experiences officiating college athletes. I got to know the official crew that was working and told them I love the sport. I want to stay with it. I don't see a lot of females in the sport and I would love to be able to represent our gender, uh, especially since track and field is, has many females on the, on the women's um, teams as well. So I wanted them to see a reflection of their leadership shown in the officiating. So just by talking with some of the officials at some of the college track meets or some of the high school track meets, that really got me motivated to think, you know what, I can also do this. I love the sport. I feel confident uh, in the rules of the sport and delivering decisions on those rules and making sure that it's a fair and equitable play experience for all the students. So I really thank the people who demonstrated their knowledge of officiating and keeping it. They kept it feeling really uh, achievable for all, I guess I should say. It felt like a tight run ship, a really well run program. They took it seriously. It was professional. Uh, they did their jobs, but they still realized that the student athletes were the ones really enjoying themselves. And I loved watching the interactions between the officials and the student athletes um, just that camaraderie and seeing the student athletes year after year achieving and breaking their own PRs really can be heartwarming for an official. Well, since my first official year of Minnesota State High School League officiating didn't get to happen due to our COVID-19 pandemic and the halt on all of our organized sports, I can't speak for any challenges that I've seen officially through the Minnesota State High School League, but just being a college athlete and high school athlete myself and a high school coach um, previously, realizing that emotions can get the best of us. It can be easy to um, get a little hot-headed, especially when you believe your athletes have really put in all the work and some of the technicalities that might come with a disqualification 
or a rule infraction are really hard to see. You know, the rules book is black and white and it's, it's printed out there. So if you lead with your head, you know, either the rule has been um, enforced or there's been an infraction or not. But when you lead with your heart, which so many athletes do for any sport, uh, it definitely can be a little heart wrenching and a little uh, blood pressure raising sometimes to try to keep the peace and really realize that you aren't putting a personal blame on anyone for any rule infractions or any falls that you're following the rules and you want to ensure a safe and equitable space for everyone to compete and play. But I think that can be the biggest tug between your heart and your head when you're officiating or coaching to really realize that the rules are there for safety reasons. Uh, but then also in the heat of the moment, knowing how much effort and work the athletes have put into things and you need to be level-headed and feel confident in your decisions and also recognize that you're ruling on a decision from the rule book and not anything to do with the personality or the effort level of the athletes. So I think that is a challenge for officials and you need to really be able to separate the two things between the head and the heart. What keeps you or kept you coming back? <laughs> Even though I didn't get to officiate this first year, I will definitely be back for the 2020-2021 cross country and track and field season. Track and field is a sport near and dear to my heart. I know all of the uh, athletes and officials and coaches in each sport really feels like their sport is um, near and dear to their heart. Track and field is so unique because there's so many opportunities. You work as a team, but it's also really individual. And you can see people excel in things you never would imagine that they could excel in before. So that's what keeps me coming back. It's the little seventh grade students who uh, got the last uniform pick. So they are, you know, a five foot tall seventh grade student who has an extra large jersey on because they ran out of jersey sizes and they show up to the track in their um, skateboarding shoes or um, really long athletic shorts. And I, situations like that make me so excited because they want to be there. So as they go along and they learn that, oh, I can buy spikes or finally I'll get a jersey that maybe fits me when I uh, get a little older and I'm able to have first dibs at uniforms. Uh, they learn the culture of track and field, but that starts only when you have a welcoming community. So if someone were to show up to the track and look around and not see somebody that looks like them, chances are they're not gonna wanna come back. So that's what I really love about track and field. You see different body types, you see different personalities, you see different people competing in different events and people really find their sweet spot, whether it's the 100 meter dash or the 3200 meter run or the shot put or the pole vault, People really love to excel at a event or a few events, and that can really make them feel great and accomplished and empowered, both as an individual and then when they, they see that uh, those scores can help with the team effort as well. I think that's really an awesome double bonus for being on the track and field, being on a track and field team. So that's what keeps me coming back is having watching those students come to their own realizations about how much effort they've put in directly reflects um, the effort that comes out with track and field. For me, deciding to become an official, the most uh, nerve wracking thing or the thing that maybe helped me or caused me to press pause a little bit was all of these rules in this track and field book. I ran in high school, I ran in college, I coached high school, so I had a pretty good feeling of um, at least the track rules. Um, you know, what the different lines and arrows mean and the two command starter or three command starter starting blocks or implements. I felt like I knew enough about that stuff, but then reading through the rule book, I'm not going to lie, it was overwhelming. However, I really feel confident now in knowing where to go to find answers for that and knowing that I would have a supportive team around me. So with track and field, it's a little different than some of the other sports. You might be the only certified official there and you have a lot of parent or student helpers. And in that case, you really do need to know your, know your stuff uh, for track and field, but it's very, it's a confidence boost to know, hey, that rule book and the case book are there for you to refer back to. 
you do not, it's not expected that you have every single measurement and every single rule memorized in your head. You can go to that resource. And then when you have the buy-in and the support of athletic director or the site director or a team that you might be working with, um, a clerk, of course, and the head umpires and referees, knowing that you have each other's backs really helped quell some of my fears and helped me realize I'm, I'm not going to be out there alone. Uh, I have the power and the confidence to know where to find the answers. And really what I want to do is provide a safe and enjoyable environment for students, whether it's that seventh grader who's doing their first race ever and uh, has no idea what to wear and, and how to use the blocks, to that senior who is hoping for their personal best at the state high school track meet. I just think seeing that evolution of the student athletes growing physically, emotionally, their maturity, that really got me excited to become an official and that helped me overcome any of the, the fears or maybe um, things that maybe would have dissuaded me from becoming official, becoming an official. So those things definitely um, come up on top, being able to know that I can be a formative part of a young person's both athletic career, but then just their own growing, maturing and learning as a leader. So I look forward to having you join us on the journey as well. And I hope to see you out on the track next season. Thanks, Jen. We appreciate your feedback. We appreciate your enthusiasm. And we're really lucky to have you on the officiating side of things. Like Jen said, if you want to become an official, contact the Minnesota State High School League today.